been a long trip to get here from the day in the swamp that Tommy asked me for Allison's hand in marriage it was over 18 months ago. I met uh, Tommy back in high school and since then we've spent a hell of a lot of time together. We met when Allison was in fourth grade and I was a much older, wiser, more mature fifth grader. What I would like to say about our relationship is it has come long strides. We have had lots of memorable moments even when we were younger. Marriage is the hardest adventure that either one of you will ever undertake. But the rewards that come with it cannot be found in any other area of life. Allison decided to tell us years in advance that Jessica and I were going to be her dual maids of honor. Tommy is a man's man. He's got a sweet beard. He's mechanically inclined. He's one of the hardest workers I've ever met. Love is an amazing and wonderful force in life. When the rain's blowing in your face and the whole world is on your case, I would offer you a warm embrace to make you feel my love. Tommy and Allison, you have decided to include a wine box ceremony. These letters express your thought on today's wedding. They share details about the good qualities that you have found in each other, and they include the reasons that you fell in love in the first place. Back in May of 2008, Tommy and I decided to make one of the best life-changing decisions ever. You have kept these letters to yourself and they are sealed in individual envelopes. We went out and we bought a sweet pop-up camper. So we're going to go back just a little bit here to when Allison first decided she was going to go to Country Thunder. Should you ever find your marriage enduring serious difficulties, you agree that before you make any irrational decisions that you both as a couple will open the box, drink the bottle of wine together, and then read the letters that you wrote to one another when you were united today as a couple. And about a month or so later, we're pulling into Country Thunder, popping it up, and I swear to God, once Allie saw that blue canvas. I know you haven't made your mind up yet, but I would never do you wrong. I've known it from the moment that we met, so no doubt in my mind where you belong. I'm not gonna say Tommy didn't do his part to win her over, but without the blue canvas, Buddy. And of course the hope is that there will never be a serious enough reason for you to open this box. I'd go hungry. I'd go black and blue. I'd go crawling down the avenue. There ain't nothing that I wouldn't do to make you feel my love. Shortly after that experience, Allison calls me and says, hey, I met this guy and he's got really great friends and they're really cool. We're hanging out with them a whole bunch and I think I'm going to stay for the rest of the weekend. The storms are raging on a rolling sea and down the highway of regret. The winds of change are blowing wild and free. You ain't seen nothing like me yet. She had to come over and meet, meet the, the gentleman in charge of this sweet, sweet machine. And this is when I was like, are you kidding me? You could not stay with these people. 
you just met them. What are you talking about? And then before we got off the phone, she said, and this Greek guy has a beard, okay, gotta go by. There ain't nothing that I wouldn't do. Go to the ends of the earth for you. Make you happy, make your dreams come true, to make you feel my love. Yeah, with all the wonderful and powerful things that love is, love is nothing until you give it away. Tommy, you're, you're one lucky guy. And after all my efforts, I'm really happy to give you the job of watching out for her now because you're the guy that is going to be able to do it for us. So if we could all please grab a glass and raise it in the toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Tommy Hill. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your brother. <laughs>